Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for This Week in YouTube is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is This Week in YouTube, Episode 6, recorded May 19th, 2013. Chris Perilla. It's time for This Week in YouTube. YouTube. With Lamar Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Lamar. Hello, Leo. How are you? Chad Johnson. I'm great. How are hey. you, Chad? I'm doing really good. And our really very good. special guest, the locker gnome, Chris Perillo. Hey, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> How the hell are you? Uh, furry. He's in the Locker Gnome Studios. You know, yes. I owe you, Chris. If it weren't for you, I would never have dared to do live streaming video. What? No, seriously. You were my uh, you were my role model because you've been doing this live streaming from that very studio. Although I think it's moved around a little bit, but it looked like that uh, yeah. since two thousand four. Uh, something like that. I don't know. I, I kind of lose track of the years. Were you on, what were you on for, Stickam? No, I never used Stickam. Uh, Ustream is really the one that I stuck with. I'm still live streaming the home office just from a different camera. Got like so many cameras. So somebody around. could go to your Ustream account right now and see the back of your head. If I, I pretty, well, no, for now it's the front of my head, but if I'm <laughs> here, then it's the back of my head. But that's usually what's being broadcast. I just have the, the chat going on there and I'm fine and with it. So we, I was doing the radio show. We were, I'm pretty sure we had already started podcasting. But then the thought was, well, could we or should we have a live streaming camera on the podcast production? And I had watched you do it. And I said, you know what? Chris does this like all the time and it's and people watch. And you had yeah. the chat room going up, uh, scrolling up the screen and all of that. And that was totally the inspiration. But you know what? It works. I mean, it really does. When you tie community into it, it, it really does work. Of course, most of my live streaming now happens on YouTube if I do a dedicated broadcast because most of my audience is, is there at this point. Well, so that's, I guess, really, since this is This Week in YouTube, that's probably what we should start with. And Lamar and, uh, and uh, Chaddington just pitch Jump right in, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But because yeah. uh, you know me, I'll just monopolize the damn conversation the whole time. But no. when, when, did you do, <laughs> when did you go <laughs> from Ustream to YouTube and why and how? Well, I, I still have Ustream going 24-7 on a dedicated connection. But it's uh, not your, the place you put content particularly. It's, no. It's like a spy all. camp. Yeah, kind of, in many ways it is. And I, I muted the microphone so you can't even hear anything wow. anymore for the yeah. most part. When YouTube allowed me to get into their uh, uh, live streaming mechanism, I jumped aboard immediately. Now, I guess... Any producer who has over a thousand subscribers with their account in good standing can also apply for a live YouTube broadcast. But I don't do live YouTube broadcasts with regularity. It's usually when there's a reason to do it. So, for example, if I get a new product to unbox, which is m more often than not like a new mobile phone, smartphone, uh, some kind of device, uh, you know, sometimes I will in the background live stream like any kind of announcements. I didn't do Google I.O. and I'm very happy I didn't this week because that would have been a very long three hours that would have been about point uh, – it wasn't pointless. Tell, I think tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, there's. there's but Chris, but Chris, can I say something? We had two hundred thousand simultaneous viewers of our live yeah. stream. That's crazy. Well, you know, so I, somebody I, wanted to see it, right? But it, unfortunately, I can't rebroadcast anything. So I usually just have you know. A Wait a minute. So so what we do is we rebroadcast YouTube stream with our you know kind of like Mystery Science Theater three thousand us yeah. commenting on it. You, you said you can't do that. Uh, I prefer not to. Uh, you don't you want know, to get in trouble. Right. I, I prefer to make sure that the content that I put out there is the content that I own 100% of. Right. And I just like being, I've done that traditionally speaking, uh, spe especially with YouTube. Now I'm worried. God, don't be worried. <laughs> Thank God. You mean that's that's against the law? No, it's it's probably not against the law. It's just it, I, I, overly I'm cautious. concerned about it because yeah. I don't want to be in bad or poor standing. Right. That's well, that's me. something we don't really Dude. apparently mind too much because we're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, do you do you have a team behind you? Because I uh, mean, yeah. Um, 
No. <laughs> no, I think right. there's a dog. I didn't think there? so. Right. So yeah, in the other room. Yeah, I've got the dogs, but unfortunately, neither one right. of them are attorneys. So it's hard for for a single person to really try to stand up, you know, especially if something goes wrong. You know, I just I'm 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 careful about it. I don't mind if someone takes something that I've done and they remix it or put it into their YouTube channel. I am so fine with that. It doesn't bother me a bit. Right. It's just that I know that I've had my content that I've done okay with flagged. Uh, I, I did something with Photoshop at one point. It had it was 100 percent the content that I created, but apparently Adobe went after it just because of the title. Right. And that put my account in poor standing, and that would you know be bad. I don't want that. Now, that, that brings us uh, up to one of the news stories that Nintendo is taking down. They are not they're they are claiming ownership of people who do Let's Plays of Nintendo games through, through just a game that Nintendo has made. And what they're doing is they're taking half of the revenue from the creator that's made that content. So even though the creator has spent the time, added their own flair on top of playing through a video game... They're taking half of whatever the revenue is. Which is, by the way, absolutely right. It's well, correct? No. Yes. Because that, no, d you guys don't seem to understand copyright at all. But but to me, <laughs> if you were just to upload no, just that's, the game no. without commentary. Without, commentary does not make it okay anymore if then you took a video and commentated on it. But that's what we're doing. No, well, we're news. Yeah, but you can't. You, you can't say that playing opinion. a video game is news. You don't think we're opinion, no. and that and that we are we are news, and we're not opinion. Don't say that. Don't say it out loud. Seriously, there is a there's a fair use exemption. Yeah, for I, news, and I believe that's all. That fair use exemption also includes commentary, and if you're if you're criticizing, or oh yes, if you're, yes, yes, it does. And so yes, it does. But but I think you could make the argument that playthrough is not. Uh, Criticism. Criticism. Or even yeah. commentary. You know, I thought it was very interesting with the integration of Ustream in the PS3 and now uh, Twitch being available on the Xbox 360. It's really, and in fact, I uh, had a chance to play with the Ouya this week as well. And oh. Twitch has an app in there. It's nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned about the, uh, you know, because like, there's a big Let's Play community on, on YouTube. And for the longest, no one has has said anything. I mean, like Call of Duty, all, all these, they like when people play their games because it's it's a different take and it's not you're not playing through the story you're you're creating your yeah, own but understand just because we think it's a good thing to for marketing of that game doesn't mean that they have to right. nor do they no. nor do they not have legal standing and now i'm not a lawyer right but i think that they could probably make a pretty strong case that that's not critique oh yeah i don't think we're debating or commentary you could show small clips in a review mm -hmm. but if you play it through a game you're actually using you're kind of giving away for free their content. Yeah, I mean, I would make the argument, and and it's probably not legal at all. But but that watching someone play a game is not the same as playing the game yourself. You are not destroying. No, no, I, no, no, I agree. And you, you can make a lot of cases for like, well, still people will still buy the game, or maybe even more people would buy the game. Exactly. But that doesn't. That's a that's a not a legal or even a moral or ethical argument. That's merely a marketing argument that right. they can accept or not. Right. And they choose not to. Right. I I agree with you. Right. But and, we can't some, do their marketing for them. They have to decide whether that's good marketing or not. Absolutely. N Nintendo's already in trouble. I mean... Right. I, they I, should take every... They should. <laughs> right. And this from... Is, I don't understand... I really don't understand why they have not yet... And some people say they never will, but I think the writing's on the wall. Eventually, Nintendo will license their games for alternative platforms. I don't think they have much of a choice. I mean, there was a, a report that came out last night saying that uh, Q1... Uh, smartphone platforms or mobile platforms dominated uh, or finally topped uh, 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 console or portable console usage of games. I mean, the, the Game Boy is, is it's it's dead. I mean, the, the Vita is pretty much dead. And I'm not saying that they don't sell and that people don't love them. I'm not trying to, you know, pee in anybody's Cheerios. I'm just saying that more people are playing games on smartphones these days. And that's a trend that's just going to continue. Correct. And, and from the article, it looks like YouTube went to Nintendo and said we have all of this content that we can now content ID match. Would you like half of the money? And if I'm a representative at, at Nintendo, <laughs> who's, gonna say no? who's yeah, who's gonna say go <laughs> to their boss? Yeah, no, I said no to that because it just seemed a little bit squeezy. Um, now there was also a report that uh, that YouTube went to Mojang, the creators of Minecraft, and they actually turned down half of the revenue because they attributed it to. Listen, one of the reasons that we became so popular is as an indie game developer is from people showing off 
the video game in Let's Plays, and that's one of the reasons that we are as big of a force as we are today. And and truly, I, I'm I'm very happy that they did that because I know multiple Let's Players on YouTube. And just imagine imagine if your boss came up to you tomorrow and said, "Hey, you're doing a great job. You're getting you're you're raising the the quality of this entire uh, workplace. We're gonna cut your uh, salary in half." And that's exactly what YouTube just did. Doesn't to do that those Let's Plays? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay. No, but I, I, th I think all of this is a great point. Leo, you are spot on about the legality. What I, my, I guess my point was, the reason I put this in here is that for the longest time, it's been allowed by all the console creators. So, I mean, so now it's, it's at a point, why do this now when you've allowed this to happen for so long and built up such a loyal following? And Nintendo has one of the most loyal followings on there, and you're, you're going to move those well, people to other consoles. They did. Right. I, 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 I think there's still a core that is Nintendo diehard. They will die with the Nintendo. Which My suspicion is that Nintendo at some point will back down on this and say, oh, we're sorry, that was just an automatic I content like ID. I, I don't think that if somebody smart at Nintendo thinks about it, they're going to mind. Yeah, I, there's a, a long history of, of video game companies, even cutscenes, uh, complaining about the use of their content uh, mm -hmm. on, and stuff online. And uh, remember, fair use is a defense, not an offense. So right. all you can do, and nobody's, none of these kids is going to do this, but all you can do is go to court and say, right. well, no, this was commentary. This was criticism. It's fair use. The court may or may not approve that. Right. Nobody's going to do gotta, that. And then you got to pay for a lawyer. And, yeah, no, yeah. no kid is going to do it. Yeah. The only hope that I could see from someone who's a Let's Player is that some sort of class action suit comes along that says, listen, uh, you, Nintendo is taking away half of all these people's revenue, so therefore Nintendo should actually be paying these people half of what they used to be making. And a lawyer could make enough money off of that class action lawsuit because of the amount of money behind uh, what's being taken away from these Let's Players. But but some uh, lawyer would have to be very... So, you know, I'll, I'll go back to you. Just don't do that to your community. I, I agree. I, yeah. yeah, you're right. Unless you think that that community isn't the same community that buys uh, Nintendo games and consoles, which it may be. I mean, it may be that's a different well, community. You know, when when I see something, and it's usually video. I, I got to tell you, YouTube is the about the only way I discover content, or at least video content these days, or certainly in in social networks when the YouTube links are shared throughout. And when someone's playing a game, let's say that I might be interested in, I'm far more interested in getting it after watching it being played. So. Even if I wasn't the core market, you know, I'm still kind of pulled into it just by that, that the visual nature of what or the audio visual, the, the whole experience of watching a video. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's something that I think Nintendo doesn't realize that they're they're going to be doing because YouTube is it. There isn't anything else out there. You're actually absolutely right. Um, now, uh, yeah. another issue is are these uh, Let's Play folks monetizing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, that's 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 where the revenue is being taken from. Is is half of the revenue that these YouTubers were making off of their con of quote their content is being taken away and given to to Nintendo. And so now, I, I, I assume that half is is going away from YouTube's take and half is going away from the creators take somebody well. in the uh, chat room's given me a link to a forum at yogscast.com which they talk about which companies allow and which companies don't and it varies yes some companies do allow this some companies don't and some like ea do both sometimes they'll pull you down sometimes not yeah, yeah. so uh you're taking your chance if you're doing a let's play you should you should be doing it for fun not profit i guess is my yeah right. and, and, but now and i don't know what twitch dot does well so you get under a network like machinima which which license with these companies and then if you get with the network then you can do it but then you're give, giving another cut to uh another third party for the right to do let's play it, and that's how they, that's how they kind of get you with these which is you gotta really kind of reminds that. me of uh, people who want to play music on internet radio stations mm -hmm. right you know and if you go through live 365 they'll pay you the license fees and then you're legit otherwise you just you know you're taking a chance i don't even like uh putting segments of music uh, in anything that I do, any any type of video that I put out there. Let, let me let me ask you this: How do you monetize, Chris? Because we, I looked at YouTube Live as soon as they made this change this week, saying if you have a thousand subscribers and are a good standing, you can stream on YouTube Live. Then I read the third uh, requirement, and you can't have any ads embedded, which eliminates well, they, all of our stuff except for the show because we don't have any ads. 
you 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 can't you can run them and I've, I've i've spoken with several people to make sure that i'm compliant um you cannot put any graphic in an area for an extended period of time that may be in the same spot as uh, an automated YouTube placement. Well, that I can uh, understand, but are you allowed to, what if I say, this show is brought to you by audible.com, am I allowed to do that? I've done it, and I, I cleared, but I cleared it. I went to YouTube and I said, hey, this is what's going on, I wanna make sure I'm compliant, and they say, as long as you don't do X, Y, and Z, because huh. YouTube themselves, they, you, 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 they are already looking into those deeper models, and I know other networks, have done it uh, for their uh, the content that they've put out there, and that's you know why I'm thinking. All right, well they're doing it, so let me make sure I have the permission so that I can go back and say, hey, look, this is what I want to do. And it, at this point, it was okay, um, mm -hmm. and so it, it hasn't been an issue as long as there's disclosure uh, and you're you're not putting. And I again, don't quote me on this because I'm sure there are more specifics, but I, I believe it's primarily that you can't have a graphic in the same spot as where a banner would normally run. Okay, I'm puzzled, because we talked to YouTube back when Live first launched, and they were very specific. No, you can't do the kinds of ads you do, period. Well, I don't and know. And I'm looking, I'm looking at the text in the license uh, requirements, and it says you may not have embedded ads. That's what they call yeah. them. That's the, uh, I think that's the, um, uh, the idea of, of not being in the same place as a banner. Oh, yeah. well, that's not what I would define as embedded, but okay, so... Yeah. All right, product, well, we like, should contact them because I'd love to stream everything right. we do on YouTube Live, but I'm not going to do it at the cost of putting the ads in. Yeah, see, I, yeah. I wouldn't do that either. Well, look, okay, so that's what I was puzzled. So you do ads. Uh, yeah, I have sponsors, but I, I always have disclosure uh, about them. And Disclosure in what I, way? What do you mean disclosure? Sponsored by. Oh, well, we, course, right, we do that. It's obvious that they're you know, you can't. The only thing you can't do, and they allow for a, well, you can do it, but you have to flag it. Like if it's a, if, uh, if what you do, the video is a product placement itself. Oh, yeah, we don't do that. Flag yeah. inside yeah. A, of uh, the No, we do, we do, it's very clearly ads. It's not advertorial. We, we take a break for an ad and. I think you can get away with it now. I, I think it was it was during a beta period when they first came out. They, they were really stringent on it. But now that they've rolled it out, I, I think it's a, a very loose. Because before you couldn't even put. The YouTube uh, banner ads on it now you can, right. uh, so 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 that's that's a really a big change. So Leo, yeah, I, I think because we we we, we, we got all excited after I/O and we got the yeah. engineers going and everything, and then I put the brakes on it because somebody sent me the uh, terms of service and it said no ads, and I thought, well, that's that. Now I I think it's because like I said, there are when I was flagged for going live and I knew the kind of content that I was doing, you know, the sponsored content. You know, I was very clear. I'm like, what can I do? What can't I do? And who do you, know, you talk to, by out. the way? Is there a Python script that you <laughs> deal with directly, or? <laughs> yeah, finding someone at, at Google. Oh boy, yeah. Good luck with that, because um, they they seem to move around a lot. Um, so well, that's I one problem we've been told by many people is, yeah, I have a great contact, and then they always get a better job somewhere else inside Google. That's, yeah, and that's so, that's the biggest problem. <laughs> with, with so we we Google, have a although, content. Yeah. It's it's great to have Google Plus because now it's easier to get a hold of the people that you want to get a hold of or need to get a hold of because you can just tag them into a post and well they should be paying attention. Yep, you're right. All right. Um, how about another YouTube related story about um the app? Now the mobile app on on YouTube I think is is uh is is pretty good. Um, but Google demanded that Microsoft take down their app, which wasn't legal to begin with because they not only stripped the ads off it, but they allowed video downloads. And you have it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this I is created it. by Microsoft? Yeah, Microsoft did an amazing... They did such a good job with the unofficial YouTube app that I thought Google made it. I right. mean, it really is slick. Wow. They did a really good job with it. I, I, and so, I, yeah. So yeah, And so app. some of the features that it, it, it includes are caching downloads uh, caching videos to watch them later or in another right. sense downloading the yeah. video downloading which right. they don't really allow right. right and of course this doesn't support their ad features because it wasn't made by google and so google is demanding that microsoft take this ad off of their phone system the app off yeah definitely uh, now if if this was the uh, pre-time like a year ago when ios had their app that had no ads this probably wouldn't have been an issue but YouTube now is trying to monetize all platforms. Well, Microsoft so, says that we don't have access to the YouTube right. API, and we're using the feed we get from m.youtube.com, their mobile site, which doesn't include the ads either. So, yeah. so they're saying it's a skin of the mobile site? 
Yeah, it's pretty much. <laughs> Mary, Mary Jo Foley says that this this was a total gotcha by Microsoft. They knew full well this would happen, mm -hmm. and they and they kind of made sure that this would happen <laughs> during Google I/O. Yeah. Oh, it was wow. perfect though, because Larry was just on stage saying, "Why are we always the bad guy? Can't we all just get along?" And then, <laughs> and meanwhile, pulls it right back in <laughs> we're going to screw you, Microsoft. Genius. You screwed <laughs> us. We'll screw you back. Yeah, so Microsoft was like, oh, we'll be we'll be happy to include ads if you just give us access to the API, right. Google. Yeah, we, 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 you know, you talked about negativity on stage, so we don't want to be negative. You know, but that so, download so thing do it. that download thing is kind of a big one because nowhere can you download YouTube videos. Not on their mobile site, not on YouTube.com. Yeah, using the YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. using official stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and it does hurt us creators who who do live off that. Chris lives off, off does of it, partially. Do, does it have just like a download link, Chris? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, not having played a, a ton of uh, video. I immediately here. ran out and downloaded it on my Windows phone because <laughs> I know that they'll, they have a little time to pull it up, but it's still up there at last time I checked, so I got it right so away. You pressed a little download button. Sorry for shakiness there. It's a high quality, medium quality. Oh, my quality. God. It even gives so, you a, a choice yeah. of quality. Yeah, so can if they, I go back here, there's the, the icon row, and I just pressed, oops, sorry if I don't have it. Oh, yeah, there's a little download button. Yeah, the little <laughs> yeah. download button. Yeah. Sorry. My, uh, can, can, they, can they actually pull it off your phone? No. You know yeah, they could. So I okay. asked that also, and uh, uh, we had uh, Peter Bright from Ars Technica on with uh, Mary Jo Foley on this week's Windows Weekly, and they said, Peter said, technically you can. They could. There's a kill switch on all phones that uh, the uh, company right. for malware and so forth can do it. He said, highly unlikely. So it's probable that if you download it now, it will continue to work unless YouTube <laughs> somehow blocks that. Right. I mean, yeah, I was, what's the, the well, thing that... Could, go, go ahead. I don't think they could block it. It's if they're if Microsoft's using the API. Microsoft's right. just asking for another... It's m.google.m.youtube.com as far as I understand. So Yeah, you, you, uh, all YouTube channels have an RSS feed. Right. Every one of them. Yeah, just yep. scrape the RSS. Isn't that That's, funny? That, oh no, this is this is hilarious. It, the timing was perfect. I, it is I, the I best YouTube client <laughs> on it any is, mobile platform. It's really good. You know, I, I've I've been enjoying using uh, the Windows Phone, and it's not a that's not a page. Which one? Like which page. one? Are you, that looks like the Lumia. You have the Lumia. No, I actually got the Lumia 928. Unboxed it on YouTube Live. I'm not very happy with it. There's some jank going on. Is with there? The scrolling. So uh, you're campers, you're using an 8x? Is that an 8x? This is an 8x. Okay, so uh, you like that better because I just all, I've only tried the Lumias and I really like them. You yeah. know the 8x. I'm not thrilled about the camera, but I found it to be more responsive. Like oh, okay. when my fingers scrolling up and yeah. down, there's less jank compared to the Lumia series. And I've been asking like, and, Nokia directly, like, what's going on with that? So I find the 8x a lot more responsive than. It the does Lumia look beautiful. Yeah. Oh and, yeah. And it, I, it, it's lighter and thinner than the it, the, the other. Lumia 920 is very heavy. They're bricks. The 920 is even heavier. But the camera is stunning. It's a good camera. No, the, it, the Lumia is a good camera, although when I compared it against the iPhone 5, it didn't really stand up. Um, I ended up Instagramming a photo I, I, asking if, oh, that's that looks horrible. In my yeah, the webcam's kind of making it look rainbow. Yeah. I said, you know, are there any apps on Windows Phone? And I, I spelled out OneNote, Office, Pandora, and Internet Explorer, which spells out N-O-P-E. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's good. I like it. A Sorry, clever it use. Horrible in the screen there, but anyway. So I just saw a video where uh, somebody put all of the big camera phones on a bar and shot video. Now, this is not stills. But this is video. They had the Samsung Galaxy S4, the HTC One, the Lumia 928, the iPhone 5, and I think there were a couple other models. And it was very clear that the uh, optical image stabilization and the and the and the pickup, the sensor in the Lumia, made it by far the best for shooting video. So, tip really? for YouTubers: get the 928 if you want to do your YouTube videos with a camera phone. There, yeah, the, the, you the just won't have a YouTube app. Is, <laughs> yeah. Yes, no, the video is fantastic on the 928. It is. It is very, very good. I, I'll see if I can find that uh, clip. I can't remember where I saw it, but it was impressive. That's an awesome test. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How about some video? How about some video? So. Yes. Did, now, did, you, see, I, did you see the Gubernator pr promoting Comedy Day for YouTube? Starts tonight, Comedy Day. It Comedy is. I might, be, I might be going tonight. Somebody invited me at the last minute. So what? What is it? it, it it's like I have no idea. They're being secretive about it. They, they, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a it's a mix of YouTubers and real comedians. See my quotes there. Uh, real comedians. <laughs> no, it's like and, mainstream. Yeah, and they're they're just not saying what it's about, and which means it's, it, it's probably going to be either horrible or barely acceptable. 
And I hope they're not watching as well. I say that because I won't be able to get in. <laughs> well, you know, what, you know, what, you know what the tagline is. This better be funny. It, it, no, it better it be. Better be. Isn't that a great tagline? Because <laughs> they know that people like you are saying exactly that. Exactly. So it's it's YouTube Comedy Week, all week long. I've never thought Arnold to be funny. So why is he doing this ad? Well, it's a pretty funny ad, especially when he looks like that. So what especially happened? Especially when your YouTube player jinks up. You know, <laughs> I I couldn't play it back. I had to go to HTML5. The flash was not not kind to my uh, computer. Um, so oh, you, 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 you all are going to make me try a Windows device again. <laughs> I swear, you, between you and Chris. That is. That is. Go ahead. Let's hear him. All of the comedy comes together. This is guaranteed to, to get us pulled. Laugh. Now, would I be there? You know, he has no. done a few comedies each day. Oh, that's yeah. a great frame for Same the... Same thing for happened the, to me, just the, right there. The video to I freeze on. <laughs> like a little curly man. <laughs> Golly. You know what? I had to switch to the HTML5 uh, uh, YouTube because I could not get it to play back on Flash. I think I am. Maybe the, Arnold is just too good for, a, for yeah, a Flash. That's too much HD in his... I his terminate <laughs> all of the Flash. <laughs> flash <laughs> won't work. I cut it like a girly man. <laughs> How about, how Get about to the daddy? HTML5. Kindergarten Hello. cop. Now, that was comedy, huh? That was funny. That was funny. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> and what does he do? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about another big guy who looks like a Terminator? How about the Old Spice guy? Uh, uh, but the big one. Uh, 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 what is it? Isaiah Mustafa? That oh, guy. No. That guy. Terry. Oh, Newer than a New Jersey. Newer than a new mouse, baby. Newer than an unopened gift from your stepmom. Everything's stuck! Newer than the waffle iron that's inside me. So Newer big. than the new solar panels that were installed on the roof. And I'm the newest thing there is. You're not as new as me. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? I don't know. When I have a son... When I have a son, I'm going to scream that. I'm it's no, just, I'm on in, a horse. In, in the, the <laughs> operation room, just pick him up and I have a son. While, while, while the cord is still attached naturally, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's, <laughs> it's more natural that way. It's like an organic fruit. I feel like they're, they've are they jumped the shark on those Old Spice ads. It's just getting weirder and weirder. And the whole As, thing about I'm, I'm on a horse, well, the original one was that it was not CG'd. This is all completely CG'd, so it's not so yeah. impressive. I, I I will agree with you on that. And I and I have yet to try an Old Spice uh, product. product. Yeah, it, it hasn't done anything for me. So Well, and that's the ultimate test of an ad campaign. Did it get you to buy the product? Right. Yeah, it did not. And hey, Leo, Leo uh, it's been a couple weeks. We haven't done a real or fake. So you oh, want to do one of those? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a dog reacting to a song he, he's had sung to him uh, by his owner since he was a pup. And I just and we, some people thought it was an ad campaign for the song, but let's let's take a look. Yeah. And and Chris, you can jump in too, of course. I don't sing. <laughs> it looked like oh, the dog was looking at you. Can we hear the song? We can't. We can't hear it for some reason. There it goes. Shh, shh, shh. It just took 15 seconds for it to start. That's why I think it's not fake. <laughs> Is this Adele? What is this? Is this old he gets, friend? He gets I funny, think it's dude. an Asus. Oh, it's an Asus. <laughs> 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 Quick oh, as what, ever, what? Mr. Perillo. No, that's what I do when I hear Adele, too. I think that's real. He sings the whole song. Can you imagine? He's, so he's had this song to him since he was a pup. And so every time he hears it, he just sings with it. That's awesome. Chris, does your, do, you, do your dog sing like this when you um, play any music? Like uh, Justin I Bieber? No, nah, do I, do I, don't, I, don't, I don't play music. They're, and, not, they're uh, not One Direction okay, fans? If that's fake, it's the worst fake ever. Right. It's definitely real. It's too bad to be. Yeah, I agree. I feel fake. like they're... they're within, for the song? All right, I got another real or fake for you. Can you see my screen yet? Yeah, I can. All right, watch this. See if you could tell me real... <laughs> Or fake. This is a one-of-a-kind piece. There oh, is man. no other You're one bad. like this particular Watch. one in the world. And you can see the tracks go this way. It's an old Edison cylinder. And um, it's really cool because it, it records much more version? accurately. Than... Oh, oh, darn it. Oh, my God. Um, well, that does happen every uh, once in a while. That can't be good. Real uh, now, uh, or you, fake? <laughs> That was for ratings. Oh, it's fake. You know, you know, Wasn't I that on the help call for Helpathon? 
I swear I do know the answer, but uh, I, I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> I, let me put it this way. I did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> right. The That's... reaction was very real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that was what was going through my head was, you can't say that on television. You, you just you cussed on live television. Uh, I was out. I'm like, uh, uh. That was it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're laughing fit. Is still my favorite one. That's I mean, a great I, moment, I, and that I, was I real. I know. Back then, but that was awesome. Yeah, I was punch drunk. That was like hour sixteen. <laughs> oh, it was, a, it was a telethon. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the call for helpathon. Yeah, yeah. You want to see that? That's it, also on YouTube. Yeah. In the very beginning, they they increment the number of how many people they have helped, and yeah, it's like at hundred and sixteen, something like that, or sixty. Wow. There you go. Yeah. What? Our geeks. yeah. There's Kat and Morgan. The soundboard of all of the funny moments that we've had. <laughs> and people are all freaked out that a guy that does that's going to send out viruses to everyone, it's not virus. What? It's this guy, yeah, they're all scared. Oh, I because he's having it. everyone give them his their a email address uh, and he's going to send them something. Sure. It's a little choppy. Him, well, it's, you know, yeah, this we'll video, so television so wasn't, this was the early days of TV. You know, you know that's what's I funny. I think I am. Are you okay? Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just uh, eat my nuts. Justin from Madisonville, Kentucky. Oh, He's wow. calling number sixty-one. <laughs> Press the button, Captain. Sixty-one oh, callers. More That's more than I've done in the entire year of the tech guy. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oop. All right. Anyway. Arms, <laughs> folks. All right. Let me. Uh, what, what's the question? I was trying to answer. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> at, 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 at what time? At what time of the night was this? Like, oh, how eight, deep were you? Been up for a long time, sixteen hours or something. Yeah, it was. It was a while. Okay. It was a while. <laughs> you look exactly the same. <laughs> Uh, my question is about uh, spam on the internet. I think somebody had to take you out and walk you around the block, right? Did they... Peter Hammersley did. Hammersley took ha me out. Peter Hammersley took you for a yeah. walk? He's still laughing, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still... Okay. No, no, you got to show it. You're missing the best. Hey, buddy. You're helping me. I think it's Roger. Give him a laugh. I think he's... Come on, buddy. Shake him. Shake him. I think he's finally... Lost it. Okay, take a deep okay, breath. Take a deep breath. All right. Okay, I can do this. You can do it. I can do this together. What She's got to slap you. I think. I think that's really what you what's called for at that point. <laughs> this was so long before YouTube. You had to download videos, and if you had the codecs installed, could watch them. The, the, both of those bloopers, both of those clips, went viral before viral was even. Yeah. Available. And that, yeah. that I think is uh, you know it was it, who was it. Um, one of our community members had clipped those from the live broadcast, put them online. The next, uh, that Monday, uh, someone came into the commissary at the Tech TV offices on Townsend and said, you look familiar. Were, were you on a, a TV show? I just saw something happen with a guy breaking a <laughs> cylinder thing. It, it, it was so uh, it was so instant, and that's I think probably the early most early part about that. Yeah, early early viral video before there was YouTube. Now it's kind of trivial. Something goes viral, yeah, big deal. You yeah, know, you're probably yeah. in a montage now. It's like yeah. not even near a single video. So no, uh, well, yeah, it shows up every so often. It shows up. That's that's so, really. I and one of the reasons production. it looks like this is because it's probably from a VHS tape. Oh yeah. If not uh, a mini D, I have mini DV copies from the original Helpathon, but not. Uh, uh, this is I, put I, up by a fan, so almost certainly, it's uh, it's a VHS <laughs> that somebody had lying around. That's funny. So Chris, now, now that you're uh, older and wiser and doing uh, many more things, uh, well, like you're doing, uh, well, you're definitely older, uh, way older than me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to you want to you want to tell us about your new venture? I, I remember when I first met you. Was that your gnome? Was it gnome Dex eight? I believe it was when I uh, two thousand eight was when I first. You were the one reason I started YouTube. By the way, everybody knows that, but I'd, I'd like to say it live uh, that it wasn't for going there. I never would have got on YouTube. So uh, we'll be friends forever. And um, and now you're doing vlogger fair, which is a whole new concept uh, for the YouTube uh, community. So you want to talk about that and what that's about? Sure. And, and I just yeah. want to throw in there, Leo keynoted gnome Dex two out in oh. Iowa. 
and oh, uh, awesome. it was way back. That was fun. Um, I was yeah, that was but, one of the most ex- uh, that was a real uh, example of, uh, and I'm and it still it remains to this day an example of of community. And that was a again, Chris, uh, for me an eye opener to understand what that meant. You know, sitting around for hours, Steve Gibson and me and uh, Analog X, and having people just kind of gather and we would talk for hours. It was so much fun. And that's really, Leo, uh, the spirit behind uh, the, the name of it's called Vlogger Fair. And the idea is uh, people who vlog on a regular basis using YouTube as, as a mechanism for connecting with community can kind of come together to collaborate, to communicate, to meet community. Um, and it, it it's like the best part, like you said, you know, when you sat around with uh, Mark Thompson and, and Steve Gibson mm-hmm. at Gnome Dex, uh, the best part of any event or conference seems to be the hallway conversations. Yep. So we've got, you know, the construct for, th- there's a grid that's currently on the site, although that's, it, those are loose ideas. It's not a conference. It's basically one large hallway conversation. It's in this gigantic warehouse in Seattle. And we ended up uh, connecting with uh, some of the top YouTubers like I, Justine, uh, got a confirmation from uh, Joey uh, Graceffa the other day as well. Also have Shay Carl, who's filming his vlogging documentary uh, at, at and in and around Vlogger Fair. There are two other big YouTube events, VidCon, The Juggernaut, and Playlist Live. And having uh, spoken with both Kevin from Playlist and Hank from VidCon, I let him know what was going on. Uh, it, it dovetails very nicely. This is not a conference. It is not competition at all. It's just a way for me to connect with other vloggers and for other vloggers to connect with one another. So it's, I'm not going to say it's a big party, uh, but essentially it's, it's going to be a chance to, uh, you know, really meet people in person and, and, and capitalize on those hallway conversations because that's the, the way you grow a YouTube channel is you don't, you're not just an island under yourself. I mean, you could be, but it, you get along better with the community if, if you collaborate with other vloggers. And given that I'm now doing a daily, uh, like a, just a behind this, like a life behind the scenes, a, a vlog using this camera, which is just a modified point and shoot this gigantic lens here. I was going to say, is there a, is there a camera behind that lens? <laughs> yes, this is the camera. Uh, this is the lens. This is the camera. They make, uh, these for real estate agents and, uh, you know, it, they make great vlogging cameras. Must be really like, wide angle. Oh, look at that. You're yeah, right. Yeah. wide angle lens, but I can get right on top yeah, of it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it, not too much distortion, at least not for vlogging. So now that I'm doing this every day, um, you know, I, I thought, well, I, I would really like to connect with these, these other people I've known for years. They may know who I am. They may not know who I am. There are more people who don't know who I am than do. And this is not technology content at all. It could be geeky. Yes, but that's just a part of my, my life. So, you know, and, I, and if you're I, thinking I, about it, I mean, God, twenty nine dollars, half the price of a video game, it's a good to deal. go and meet vloggers and really get in world connections is totally. But I don't, worth I don't the care. Price. I truthfully, I don't care how great it is. It will never be as great as David Lawrence and me singing "You Don't Bring Me Flowers" to together on the stage at Locker Gnome Two. And God, I'm just so glad that there was no viral video, that YouTube didn't exist back then, and that there no record exists of us singing this song because what the hell is this? <laughs> somebody somebody must have uploaded this many years. When was Locker Gnome 2? What year was this? Uh, 2002. Yeah, there was no YouTube at the time. Mm. Wow. What is this? This is David Lawrence and me singing. Oh my. A puppet master. A love song. <laughs> To each other. <laughs> wow, this is great. You don't sing in songs. You hardly talk. So who's winning? There's a scoreboard behind you. Guys. I don't know what this was. Was this a, this was like the dinner at the end of the? Yeah, I can't remember. It's been so long ago. I can't even remember. I remember when. <laughs> well, Leo remembers. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh my God! So, Speaking of going oh, viral, oh, hmm. it would have gone viral. If, fortunately, there was no YouTube in 2002. Thank God. I don't know what you kids, how you kids live in this day and age where nothing is, nothing is sacred, nothing is private anymore. Yeah. So, so Chris, yeah, I want, you know, what, it, it's, quick, it's that Chris. same spirit. I don't know if we're going to be doing uh, karaoke. <laughs> if it happens. Please I'll let don't. it happen, you know, please, whatever. Please, God, don't. No. I wanted to ask you um, just kind of a personal question. You, you've, uh, I've, of course, watched you since 2008. Um, you've 
transition your channel more and like I think you're you're highlighting more of the vlogging. So I wanted to know why you decided to do that versus being only tech. Um oh. and 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 also uh was it easier to do because you were always live streaming your life anyway? You know, I well I I put a lot of my life out there over 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 time. Um but here's the thing and I I don't I've got to be very careful when I talk about this because I understand the Twit community certainly. And I, I love tech and I'm a geek, but technology as content is typically not a destination. It's an enabler. And if anything, I have provided more value for people who don't know what we know than I have for people who already have their mind made up. And so technology and geekiness, that's a part of my community, but the greater audience that I'm really trying to connect with have no idea the difference between a Windows phone and an iPhone. And so, you know, it, it, it's that has always kept me focused. Technology is not a destination, typically speaking, in culture. It's an enabler. And I learned over time, too, This is I've kind of backed away from doing a lot of reviews, even though people want to know what I think. And, and you've probably found yourself in the same boat. There are yes. two types of people who watch or read reviews. There's the type of person who values your opinion, and there's the type of person who values you validating their opinion. And unfortunately, there's more of the, the latter than the former, uh, certainly with YouTube. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, you know, I, I'm constantly uh, struggling with. And so it was easier for me to, after I saw, I can't even explain how, how much of a deeper engagement that I experienced after starting to do the vlogs, which is just more of the behind the scenes, personal, uh, a Seinfeld episode every day, uh, the engagement was so much deeper and so much more fulfilling for me as someone who produces content than mm -hmm. anything I did on a sustained basis with technology. So okay. it uh, it provided a lot more freedom for me and it became a, a corporate. Some people would say, why don't you put that in another channel? I'm like, well, why wouldn't I put the tech in another channel? Because the vlogs track better because people are more interested in that than they are technology. Yeah, and I, I th again, yeah. I, I don't want to, I've got to be very careful because I still love technology and my community because that, that's, a core part of what I do. It's just that most people don't view technology the same way we do. That's the perfect answer. That's how I view it. I disagree completely, but that's good. That's why there's you and that's why there's me. Because we, no, we're taking different slices of that pie. Exactly. And, uh, and I'm never going to be an I, Justine, or a Chris Perillo. Nobody's going to watch me. So I'll let you guys do that and we'll see, we'll keep talking about technology. And, but see, that's the thing. And that's good. You know, yeah, I know. Work, it, yeah. And it works. It yeah. really works. Yeah. The, uh, you know, YouTube's different. YouTube is a, I, you know, I, I no, we've never been able to crack YouTube. I, I understand that. Yeah. It's, it's different. And, and so I'm playing as much into YouTube's culture as I am my own, uh, my own comfort level with producing content. Yeah. So that, that there's a very clear distinction. That's why Twit is extremely successful and why some people who've done, you know, very successful things outside of YouTube have been successful. And if they try the same thing on YouTube, it may, they may not see the same degree of success. And that I'll concur with ex completely because we can we just do not get numbers on YouTube. Yep. Not to and mention the fact that YouTube is effectively content hostile. So we have a really hard time doing content. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a program. fair assessment. That is yeah. a very fair assessment. Yeah. It, it's it's it's. Uh, it's something that when YouTube was around, when YouTube started, you know, a lot of, and I think Leo, you would remember this too, a lot of uh, podcasters or vloggers at that point, this very uh, uh, nascent uh, industry, if you could call it that at that point, um, they didn't want to go to YouTube because they were afraid of handing their content over to uh, this, this entity. And I realized very shortly uh, after starting, I'm like, you know, there are more people who don't know who I am than do know who I am. And whereas some people have already made up their mind who Chris Perillo is, there are still some people out there, you know, search for Nexus 4 review, uh, iPhone help, and YouTube results pop up. And so me putting myself out there, my thoughts out there, uh, they find that knowledge much more valuable than someone who, who just lives, eats, sleeps, and breathes it. And that's the value of, of YouTube is that discovery mechanism. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've started to call myself, if I have a label at this point, it's an infotainer. You know, and, and I, I put myself squarely in that category because I, I provide information and I try to do it in a way that it doesn't put people to sleep. OK, well, I say edutainer, so we might have a conflict of interest. Here, so. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because we asked last week, we asked a question that's kind of uh, germane, which is, uh, is there is there a place for a long form content on yes. YouTube? And we actually got mm -hmm. some good uh, feedback. Well, let's take a look at the 
Uh, the first one, this is from Live uh, Live Tech Australia, I guess. Yeah. It's Live Tech mm -hmm. Australia. In three. <laughs> I've been making tech videos on YouTube since 2008. I personally find that making videos under two minutes is much better for people who have smaller audiences. Once you grow your audience and have a bigger subscriber base, it's more viable to make videos over 10 minutes and maybe even a full length show just like yours. This is because the user will become much more familiar with your content and are more willing to listen to you for a longer period of time. I hope this answers your question, and I really enjoy the show. That's an interesting point of view. I'm not sure it I'd is, agree with it, but it's... It is actually, very interesting. I agree with it. Yeah. I do agree with it. Well, I certainly I, agree with the short part. I don't know if you can ever do long form. You can. And, and I think he's right. When you have a deeper connection with your community, people actually get upset. If I cut myself short on right. something, they want more, which is good. You always want to leave, you know, with... You want to wanting them wanting to have more or from you. Uh, and, and I've had videos that I've uploaded that are well over two minutes long. Uh, I, can't, I just can't shut up, which is what makes YouTube great for videos. <laughs> that sounds so long, well over two minutes. My <laughs> God, how do people survive it? Here's Sean uh, Brunette, who thinks the same, I think. And three. <laughs> hey, Leo, Lamar, and Chad. Is there a place for a long form content on YouTube? I say absolutely. A few examples I can provide are the Isaac Asimov debate series, which focuses on big ideas in the world of physics. Those videos are almost two hours long. Uh, great educational content, such as lectures, debates, documentaries, uh, and TED Talks, which range from 12 to 45 minutes in length. Uh, you know, YouTube for me is rapidly becoming a, a gateway to great educational content. And I think it's an excellent time for anyone who wants to enrich their knowledge base. Um, I love the show, guys. Keep it up. You know, it's true. You don't have to be a million views to be a success on YouTube. And the fact that it's free bandwidth and free distribution, even if you get 5,000 or 10,000 views, that doesn't mean it's not a success. That's a success. Yeah, finally, a uh, finally, Traveling Robert. Hi, guys. This is Robert from Miami, Florida. My YouTube channel is uh, Traveling Robert, and I do travel videos, obviously. <laughs> on your question about the ideal duration of a YouTube video, there's a really there's really a wide range. Uh, there's room for everybody, I believe. If you have a video of a dog riding on a skateboard, you can get away with 30 seconds, a minute at the most. Now, if you have something documentary style, like this guy who was walking the Appalachian Trail, you, if, it's, if the content is interesting and compelling, you can get away with a much longer video. I do think that the sweet spot, the ideal length is between 5 and 10 minutes. Uh, my most popular video is 10 minutes long. It's about Miami. Anyway, that's uh, what I think. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, Some great responses. Good, yeah, these are really, really good. we got a good audience. Let's ask a question for uh, next week, and then we'll, uh, we'll highlight Chris's uh, channel. Absolutely. So the, the question I wanted to ask, uh, talking about the, the YouTube mobile app, there... I love it, and talking about the one on iOS and, and, and Android, um, but it's definitely missing some features, and so I wanted to know what features would you want in a mobile app? I'm alive. Me? Sorry. Fine. Sorry. Fine. Shut up, Chris. Shut up. Scream. Shut up. I can't pause him. Okay, now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, it all loaded the video. Uh, shame on you. Mom, no, but, YouTube's broken. But I, I would like at least upload notification. Let's say a uh, Chris puts up his vlog. I, I want to be able to choose, okay, I want to have get a notification from Chris, from, from Twit, from Chad. And so if I can pin those people and it alerts me like any other app would when there's a new video, that would be great if I had that option. And I think that's something that I would like. So I would like to know what the audience would like in a full-featured mobile uh, YouTube app. So uh, video responses under 30 seconds if you can and attach it to this video that'll be on youtube.com slash this week. What is it? This week, YT. Sorry. Right. <laughs> and if this video doesn't exist because YouTube took it down, uh, attach it to the last week's what video. What did we do in this week's video that could possibly get us taken down? I don't know, but it's happened a few times. Too much Chris Perillo. <laughs> <laughs> There's never too much. Oh, yeah. You want more? <laughs> YouTube.com slash Locker Gnome. That's Great the one job. you want people to go to, right, Chris? Yeah, that's, the, that's really the only one. Geek lifestyle. And people are asking in the chat room, what's the name of that lens? Actually, I'm asking. What's the name of that lens? I want one. Well, um, the, uh, okay. So it's not really the name of the lens. Uh, it's, it's the mount. The modification that's made the company's HD hat. And, uh, I mean, it's just, I don't, I couldn't even tell you that much about the lens, but they make the modification on these. Uh, yeah. Cause you, you need a mount that would put any lens on then on that uh, yeah. point shoot. Yeah. So, so they, they either, they've got the kit where you could do this yourself or they, they sell it to you as a product that you can just buy, but it's, it's a an unofficial hack, but it works really well. 
Yeah, they've got one. It's a Sony RX100. Is that the one you have? Uh, no, I think this is a WX50. Okay. Yeah, w, this is just a WX50. This is actually the second one. The first one cracked. Uh, I mean, it just broke because I used it so much, and the lens has been dropped so many times, it's not even funny. I can fit, you know, coffee cups on this lens. <laughs> it's that big, so. Yeah, they have one. They have now, and, and you're right. It says it's for real estate, but the yeah, hdhat.com. That's, that's cool. Awesome. They have one for the Sony. Uh, yeah, right I, now. I use yeah. I use the Canon, but that Sony one is really good quality for you, Chris. So I yeah, want to well, vlog. I'm going to see if I can get as many viewers as Chris and Justin. Actually, you'd be surprised in your audience how many people want to know your behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I think you underestimate it. You seriously I, I, underestimate I, it. I um, I underestimated live streaming. I underestimated yeah. vlog. And well, I've you, learned so much from you, Chris, and uh, I'm just going to copy you some more. Yes, <laughs> please do. <laughs> I'm going to call it Leo Poops. Right? That's, that's a great, great yeah. marketing strategy. Although I'll never poop on it. Right. But I'll just call it Oh, that. you know, oh, darn it. We ran out of time in this video. Next video, <laughs> you will see me poop on the video. <laughs> Yeah, good. No, Chris is an inspiration. I, I've been I've been toying around with the the life because what you what you do is like life casting. Uh, it's a different form of vlogging um, versus you know what I do in front of the camera. I've been toying around with it. My audience definitely wants it. I don't know if I want to show something like that every single day. Well, you, you it, 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 it works with it works with two people. You, you're you're married. That makes a better combination. Me by myself is boring. So <laughs> I don't. Today know. I went trying and I to get Taco Bell. It could be about you like trying to get a girl. That, th th but see that that's like a thirty second video because then it just fails. Yeah, but okay. I looked at Craigslist and there really wasn't anything interesting today. So, but I had I, I'm my wife is not here right now. She's returning back home this week. But I've had some pretty good vlogs on my own. I I, I find that mixing alcohol and building Lego sets. Oh, content. <laughs> so Chris, no, tell me seriously. Tell me what should I do? Because I'm gonna I want to do this. I'm gonna get the big lens and I'm gonna do a two minute video. It's two minutes, right? Two minutes every day. I do. I, d I do 10. 10? Well, like, can people, I work my way up? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, people got upset when I cut it back to four. They, they were so mad. It was okay. like, I 10. I'll do 10. Again. And then what would you suggest? I'm not going to steal from you. I don't want to do your yes, thing. But it, what would you yeah, suggest? It's your life. It's your life. It, my I mean, life. Whatever. I mean, I, I record, you know, 10 seconds of clouds. And then, you know, I'm back to, you know, hey, I got, I'm going to go get coffee. And here's what's going on today. And maybe we'll do really? this. And people, you know, and people watch thinking, that. Huh? People watch you know, this. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. you you have you. This is just desperate, lonely people. What? No, no, no. <laughs> like you have you have a passion for for coffee, right? You have tons and tons. Oh, I could of, do Leo's. You could do Leo's. Leo drinks a cup of coffee, then poops. That would be <laughs> right. That would no, be good. I mean, educate no, people about what you know and what what your opinions are on how to make coffee. I mean, uh, do that. You know, it, you'd be surprised. It, it, all I can say is that I put stuff in there that I otherwise couldn't put anywhere else, and it's fun. Yeah, it's 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 more fun to do a vlog than it is to talk about technology. Believe that or not, I'm saying that. that that's my perspective. No, and I think it would be. And I've tried to write. You know, I keep thinking I should be writing more, and I've written 13 books, and it's hell. And I realize I can talk like till I, till the cows come home. So yeah. I should just do something where I talk. It's that's that's all I do. I yeah. mean, yes, yes, it's just random things. I showed people. Here's what I got for for the groceries, and I had problems opening the olive jar and the pickle jar last night. And my dogs do something. See, it takes it, a certain confidence that people are going to want to watch that. I don't know where you got that confidence. Well, but it, live streaming anything worth it, yeah. it's worth trying. That that's what I thought. And yeah. it, even my first one that we did unofficially about a little over a year ago. Uh, I put it out there and I said, I don't think anybody cares. But my right. wife said, no, no, we have we have to try it. People right. will love it. And instantaneously, I mean, it was just like it shocked me to the point where I was like, OK, I have to accommodate this because it's bringing a deeper value to the normal stuff that I quote unquote normal stuff. Right. The, the technology stuff that I might do in the channel boot, got boosted. That engagement went up when I put the more personal side or, or, or less uh, let me let me ask you a couple of questions because I really want to know. So, uh, do you do you consider it a performance? Do you get up for it, or is it you could just do whatever is going on right now? I mean, oh. how much do you think about it? I, I think about it a little, uh, but not too much. So I know that I have to do it, but I don't print myself. I mean, I'll be unshowered for or, you know my hair, my eyebrow will be like you know that, or I'll have something in my teeth, and I won't even think about it because it's just it's more of that that real life, and it's the storytelling that becomes the value, yes. and I'll, ah. that's what I'm doing every day. I'm telling a story. Okay, Absolutely. so it's like stand up a little bit. You like your yeah. it is a little bit of a performance. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, certainly do play up uh, to the camera at, at times, uh, but I, I would say n just in a different way. And you don't do a theme. You don't do like, because yeah. coffee would be a theme. You don't do a theme. 
No, 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 no. It's just whatever's, whatever's in, going in on in life, you know. Uh, and it's you, you've, it's just you, Leo. You know the trick. You treat the camera as if it was the person you're talking to, and that's it. I mean, you've got a, an intimate relationship with the person on the other side of the screen, and so. When I'm talking to the vlog camera, I tend to have a different demeanor than I might if I'm presenting to a camera from across the room talking to somebody or like, you know, right now, knowing that I'm right. interacting live, uh, it, it's just a different tone and a different approach. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not necessarily selling anything. I'm just showing I'm documenting. I, I'm I've got this uh, this uh, uh, permanence now for 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 each one of these days that I can look back on. Even future generations could look back on and say, "Wow, my great great grandfather's life was really boring." And, and <laughs> for whatever reason, you know, I, I I do it because it's fun and because people do enjoy me doing it. And, and so it's it's you know both of those things kind of combined. It, it it's worked out exceedingly well. Could you do any kind of, uh, like, I know some people would never do it, but, like, would you ever consider, not, if not even mixing your tech videos into it to one video or, like, some kind of product placement in there, uh, like, w would you be against something like that? or No, I, I wouldn't be against product placement. In fact, I'm very, very, uh, I, I don't even like showing products uh, in, in the vlog. I'm very, very okay. careful about doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I, I've said it, I went on record with our hundred, or I'm sorry, our year episode. I said, I have no problem with product placement. In fact, I think it's a great way of getting things done because, if a sponsor is interested and the audience is fine with it and you've disclosed, it's a win-win-win situation. And product placement works exceedingly well and it works exceedingly well with lifestyle, which is – that's the umbrella. If, if, if there's a, a genre, yeah. it's lifestyle. That's, that's, that's what, what, I, that's what I call myself, yeah. yeah exactly. it's, it's lifestyle. And, and I got to point out, Chris has uh, 283,000 subscribers. His views typically at least 10,000 per vlog. Uh, but they're, it's deep engagement. It's not just the number of views. It's the – the amount of like ratio, yeah. the amount of comment ratio to the amount do, of views. Do you make money on this from YouTube? Uh, or um, Yeah, I, I wouldn't say the vlogs, not that much, but hey, consider this. I've got vlogger fare coming up. Right. I'm not saying that. So I it's, don't, don't see it as a way to make money by in, in and of itself, but as a way to promote other stuff that might make money. It, it, it's, it's, it's the way like Dave Weiner would look at blogging. You know, right. from back in the day, so he he doesn't have ads running on the blog because he gets hired to do other things based on the things he puts in his blog. Right. So I've been hired by you know a, a, a handful of really big brands because they see that the deep engagement. And I, I want to go back to this, Leo, because I think it's very important when we talk about YouTube views. Views can be cheated. Even likes can be cheated. Things can be cheated, these surface elements. But when you look at the level of engagement in the average video or the level of engagement that I have on YouTube transcends YouTube. And I get that engagement on Google Plus or Facebook right. or, or Twitter. It doesn't matter. It's a concerted strategy, not just any one thing. And I do have to point out, you've got 8.2 million views on the iPod sex video, 2.8 million views, how to piss off a telemarketer, 1.9 million views on the phone sex operator, your dad using Windows 8, 1.7 million yeah. views. I mean, there's no question you are driving the big views in, in addition to just a consistent day in, day out, 10 to 20,000 views. Those mm -hmm. are, they're one-offs, right? And, and so what, what vlogging is, or my, what I call TLDR, the Locker Gnome Daily Report, which is a take on <laughs> like Too Long that. Didn't Read, yeah. uh, you know, that, that's the long form stuff. That's something that you can count on. Uh, and so those, uh, that content may not spike because you know people may not be searching for something in particular, which is pretty much how people discover YouTube videos. They they go to search and they they search for for something, and then your video might pop up, or you get lucky, it gets linked into a big a big blog or shared on social in one way way shape or form. Uh, that is you know it's it's key, and you know that you're going to strike gold every once in a while, but that shouldn't keep you from mm -hmm. having some level of consistency, knowing that you're going to you're. You're going to operate like this for a while, and every once in a while, just hit those big bumps, like the the video I did with Dad in Windows 8, that was which awesome. happened live on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's been recognized in Apple Store. Yeah, he's a star. That video. Yeah, <laughs> it's Chris Perillo. It's so great to reconnect. It's great to talk to you again. You're an inspiration. You really know how to work it, and yes, I'm yes. really glad that you you found a perfect venue for that <laughs> unique personality. Uh, you were made for YouTube, and I think in some ways YouTube was made for you. I'm happy to be on YouTube. I'm yeah. happy to be here. No, it's, yeah. it's great to reconnect with everybody. Thanks for he, joining he, us, Chris. Yeah, he has created cre careers. It's amazing. It really yeah. is impressive. I'm going to steal it. I'm going to steal from you again. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I just need that big lens. Uh, thank you to uh, Lamar Wilson. Once again, another fabulous show you've put together here, Mr. W. Thank you.
This was amazing. This was one of the best shows. Thank you so I much, Leo. Yeah, yeah, Chris Chris really is an inspiration and uh, and unusually is able to articulate what it is that he's he's very knowledgeable what he's doing and mm -hmm. uh, is able to articulate it in a way that I, I think you can really you can see he's thinking about this. Yes. And he's and got a really big lens. Yes. And Chad is awesome. Chad Lens. You are the man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, always, Chad always. Rington. And I am going to call it Leo Poops because I think that that will drive traffic. <laughs> or not. If you, Leo, if, you don't, if you don't deliver on a poop, people will leave. No, that's the point. They'll keep coming back <laughs> waiting. And it'll be like eight years. It'll be like moonlighting. And finally, in the eighth oh, year, it won't be jumping the shark. It'll be pooping. Ooh, ooh. What about ooh. Leo's lens? Leo's really big lens? Just Leo's lens, yeah. How you ooh, see the I world. Like that. Leo's lens. L-E-O, L-E-N-S. We're going to have to talk about that moonlighting reference. No one would get that. Yeah, that's the, the problem danger. because I'm an old man. I talk <laughs> about things that happened decades ago. I watch moonlighting. I'll, I'll do, do that. It'll be just like on the <laughs> Andy be, Griffith show. It'll be Poop Leo Shedge. <laughs> every week. Oh, no, every day. You got to do it every day, right? Every day. No. no. Nah, you can do whatever. Five it's, days a week, three yours. days a week. No, give me whatever. rules. I need rules. It's, it's good to be consistent, but every day is See, really See, I'm an old difficult. media guy. This is finally where I draw the line. I can't do that. I need to have my tap shoes on. Do it every my Friday. My toupee and my black tie, or I'm not going on camera. Do it every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We do this show every Sunday right after the Tech Guys show. It's about 2.20 p.m. Pacific, 5.20 p.m. Eastern Time, 21.20 UTC, if all of that works out right. Uh, but you can get it after the fact, not on YouTube, because they'll pretty much pull every episode we do from now on, I think. Uh, but you can try. It's YouTube.com slash This Week in YT, right? This Week YT, right? This Week YT. Yeah. This Week YT. There or, is no in. Or take out all of the letters after the first letter, so T-W-I-Y-T, YouTube.com slash T-W-I-Y-T. That works, oh, that too? too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't, oh I didn't we got an alias. Yes. Right. yes. Yes. Or you can get it at twit.tv slash T-W-I-Y-T. Oh. No, just Y-T. <laughs> Wrong show. We, we. Oh, I don't know what we do here. We twit.tv slash yt. Right. Yeah. Or subscribe it. in iTunes to whatever the hell show you want, as long as it's not got lawns in it. I think you've got the right show. Yes. <laughs> exactly. If you Google this week in YouTube, lawns show is number one. Or now we, we're going to take it. We're going to. That show hasn't been on in three freaking years. Watch out, because Leo's poop, number one. No, that's number two. I'm Are you going to put it on uh, iTunes? Number, oh, number two. I Thanks for joining oh, us. We'll oh, see you oh. next week <laughs> on This Week in YouTube. Chris, you're so good. You're inspiring me once again. Dude, I'm telling you, give it a shot. But I'm going to HD hat. You, you do the you, you, it's a different tone it's a different approach it's it's personal that's your personal connection that just think I, back see, I, I, I actually was sincere that the old media guy who has been able to kind of break through those habits up to now that's just going one step too far it's too like too personal too non-content driven that it's just that's, but it's I, a challenge I, I, I trust me I, I understand it's but a show I, I about can nothing tell you I can tell you it works. I can tell you it works. All right. Ask any vlogger. They'll tell you it works. Yeah, apparently it does. I mean, I, that's the interesting thing. I So, all right, all right, I'm going to do it. I just it's, think I'm, I don't have my, my, Leo, my boobs aren't I, big enough yet. And I, here's the thing, and this is this is what's funny. The vlogger fair attendance, I would say 75 to 85% are female. I don't know anybody who's coming. Like, I just. That's I'm interesting. Like, it's not my, well, because reality shows. Right. Are, it's a very female uh, driven demographic, right. lifestyle stuff. Vlogging fits right in there. So that's why I should go to the mall and buy clothes and then try them on. That would be Le what I Leo, would. I would love to see you do a, I would love to see you do a haul. Like yeah. you go to Leo's right. hall. <laughs> you you hall. do a, a spring haul. Please do one. <laughs> Steven in the chat room says he watches three different 10 to 20 minute vlogs daily. So yep. what is it, Steven, that you like about it? Does it feel like these are your friends? Is it does it make you does it need to make you laugh? Does it have to be funny? No. I mean, you definitely need to connect with that type of person. You're obviously not going to, I mean, I'm not going to watch like some death metal person because they just won't, unless if they actually have views that I would find interesting and would want to see their point of view. But other than that, yeah, there are no rules. The one that I did yesterday, people really liked. Okay, I mean, I, I'll I, watch it. It was, it was just random. I record random crap. The Like a Boss, number 390? Yeah, Like a Boss. They, they seem to yeah. like that one.
All right, that's good. So that's good. You can give that's a template for this. Yeah, Logging you is know, a, is it, a it, 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 people seem to like the one. I don't know. I really don't know why. It's I really why people like what they they do. But. Yeah, it's funny you're a, you're asking about like all of these rules because I actually just did a vlog about how one of the reasons I wasn't making vlogs was because I was so worried about the rules of making. There are no uh, rules, right? It's like the reason I'm not making it is because I just feel like who wants to sit and watch me do sh stuff? You'd be surprised. Apparently. Yeah. So he's like, it shows him looking at Twitter. Here, 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 about to here's the thing. So here's the thing, Leo. Um, people are interested in you because they're interested in you. And that's what I learned quickly on YouTube. This is why the, the Locker Gnome channel is not just tech. It's right. geek lifestyle. No, it's what you were people saying are, earlier. Because I think people are interested in me because I have something to say about tech. No, no. They're interested no, in you. Right. Period. You are, it, believe it or not, I mean, I know this is kind of, it took me forever to figure this out for myself because I kept trying to separate myself from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know? Well, it feels so. It feels so self-centered. Like, you right. know. But I felt that way when I started blogging. It's like it's, nobody wants to a, know about me. No, it's a cult of personality, yeah. and I'm telling you, that's exactly why vlogging would work for you. It would work for you in ways that it may not work for other people. Well, Lisa's always said we should do a reality show. For some reason, that's she really wants to do a reality show. So and maybe that's what, what we'll do. She's right. She's absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. It's vlogging, and I'm telling you, if you want to do anything on YouTube, that's it. Yeah, All right. people don't. Words, people, that's it. People don't. People don't watch Twit. For the news, the news is oh, they watch for your personality. How much editing do you 100%. put in? How much editing? How much work is it? Uh, well, everyone does it differently. Some people just like. Uh, sorry, I was kind of looking up, trying to think. Um, the the way that I've decided to do it is encapsulate the full day into ten minutes, and so some people want it longer. Some people, you know, want it way longer. But if I keep it at ten minutes, it, it takes me about an hour, an hour and a half for editing me. But I do everything. I'm hands on. So. That's how I've decided. Maybe I'll to edit in this. camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it, some people, they'll go longer and they won't edit as much. And to me, this is the way, I, when I edit something, I hate editing video. Now, I got a, a head strap for my GoPro. Could I do it that way? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, That'd I be a unique a perspective. I did some time-lapse stuff. What, I, what my just, life looks like. Yeah, you'd be surprised. It, it's, it's it, again, Leo, it's it's that personality that I know I, I, I kind of go through the same Feelings of why do yeah, people feel care? weird about it? It's like it's the because the internet allows you to connect with other people, and right. when you put your personality out there, no, no, no. In, in your life out there, yeah, they, they latch onto that, and that's the if, if I have a value, you know, on YouTube or beyond, it's n it's not about the content that I'm creating; it's about my personality and people right. connecting with that. Right. And so that is really that's a part of the storytelling, a story that has no plot. Uh, you know, that, right. that it's just stuff that might happen in the average day or, you know, I might have an interesting thought that passes through my head that I, 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 I want to say, but I have no idea of how to, I can't make something like that a separate video. You know, right. it just wouldn't make any sense. Uh, and so it, you, you find your groove. I mean, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's just kind of, that's why I told the Lamar, you should keep doing that video a day because I thought that that really developed you. I, you know as what? I'm just, you, you, you were honest. I mean, I had actually, I didn't talk to Chris about this, but I had actually decided, no, I'm going to do a structured Tuesday and Friday thing with a set thing. And then I, like a few days later, I was like, what the hell am I doing? It's like, I'm, I'm putting myself back in a box. People don't want the box. They want me. That's right. It's too polished. Yeah. Yep. yeah, they so want you. I, it's, yeah. So, it's the so personality I'm, that will ultimately make or break someone. I, I mean, that's, I can right, tell you. You either got it, you don't. Some people you don't have it. So nobody's going to watch you, but then you don't have it. And then you get you get haters, and that's how you know you're succeeding. I mean, on uh, I was on I put this in my vlog. Uh, my most popular tweet this week was screenshotting the Google result for my name. Someone had edited my edited my Wikipedia page that Google was pulling to. to oh, I, I saw that. I saw that it was so funny. While. It was hysterical. I was I, honestly, I'm that like, was your knowledge crazy. graph. So I, 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 thought, I, you know, I took the camera. I'm like, you know, hey, look, I'm I'm the human penis. Diana didn't know that. It worked. Yeah. And, and honestly, I don't put if I put any kind of technology into the vlog, it's like a, a secondary thing. It's not the primary driver. Right. It's, it has nothing to do with anything. Well, I do enough technology. I wouldn't need to do that. Yeah, and you know, it, it like I today, what's going to go in is. Uh, I had a Mac Mini get repaired uh, that I'm running the live stream through. So I'm like, okay, and I, I need you to figure out how to do it. You have such an interesting life compared to mine. Mine's so boring. You'd be surprised. Leo, you, you, you would crack day. YouTube. You would crack YouTube doing this. All right. And then, and then, I would like to your, crack YouTube. And then all your other shows have been fixed. Yeah. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm going to, maybe I'll just use the, uh, I already have a GoPro. Maybe I'll just use that. Yeah, That's the, GoPro the perfect. works really well. Yeah. GoPro's nice, yeah. I'll just get a suction cup for it so I could put it on different surfaces. Oh, they're just like on your head. 
Why the <laughs> audio? That's the only thing I'd be cognizant of. Oh, the audio's not good. Yeah, the audio may not be just. Are you recording? Can you put the audio up on this? Is this off the camera? I will be sure to film that. Do not worry. It will be vlogged. I don't know if that would come to a shock to you at this point. I like audio, this. They're great. They're great audio. Watch artists. Chris uses turn signal. Like a boss! Actually, I did that more like a disgruntled employee. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. First of all, it's funny. Uh, but that, okay, so that's why that camera is great, because you can put that on the, on the dashboard. Yeah. And you're that, getting, that's audio off the camera. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a great uh, uh, microphone. Uh, I can't no, put any enough. external stuff. But, you know, here's the thing. It's not the quality of videos. Jenna Marbles does, you know, some of her vlogs on a webcam. Right. Like a crappy webcam. It's the content. It's the personality it, that, that people are, the story that people connect with. Right. And so it's for some people and for other people it's not. And, right. and you just, you concentrate more on the people that it's for and do your best to tell the story in the best way that you possibly can. I could completely alienate the entire Twit audience. No, this no, is an can't. addition. No, this I is an addition to it. It's because it's YouTube. They don't even. They wouldn't even. You know, yeah, but but you're not going after that audience. I don't know who the hell I'm going after. Go after the audience that hot likes chicks. you for you. Can I go yes. after hot chicks? People who like you for you. <laughs> the people who like you for you. All right. And that is it's. I, I think do the whole thing in a crazy voice the whole time. It's that. But you know what? People will eat it up. <laughs> I mean, they, they, I do stupid stuff all the time. I, 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 mean, the, I really do. Take, take, a, take a much wider view of it instead of just, like, making a vlog. Like, just be you. Put in those right, crazy I'm voices. Do it right now. Just get creative. All right, thank you. I'm going to go do my vlog. I'll see you later. Okay, <laughs> see ya.